Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to look at a Husqvarna 122 HD60 hedge trimmer. And a customer complaint is that they got the string from their hoodie wedged up in a motor and it made the engine seize. So uh, you might recognize this hedge trimmer. You see that uh, bolt that I got in there? There used to be a grease stick right there. And I did a video where uh, I denied them grease zerk privileges because they pumped so much in there that uh, it was getting into the clutch and you, it wouldn't even uh, move the cutters. There's so much oil or grease in there. So uh, they use this machine. You know, it's it's uh, not an individual. It's a lawn crew. And this time, a hoodie string took it out so we're going to take a look yeah that motor is seized up tight we're going to take a look at uh, underneath this flywheel and see what that string looks like my biggest concern right now is the crank seal so notice how the flywheel is dished you can't get a good whack at that nut with a hammer that's why I left the socket on there and you know, it doesn't take much to pop this one loose. Oh yeah, boy, look at all that string. The crank seal is still okay. But what I'm really looking at is that crank seal. And it looks like it's okay. Now, I've seen people uh, working in the tall grass and weeds and let the weeds get drawn up into this cooling system and wrap up around the crank just like that string was. And just keep running it they don't know any better uh, and actually run it until the crank seal is gone so I'm happy to see that uh, the seal looks all right not that it's a big deal to replace it but I don't think I got one on hand so we're gonna put this thing back together look it over make sure it's good to go and uh, give it a test run the last few minutes of this video is just me playing with some carburetor settings, trying to make it run better. So, uh, you got that to look forward to, eh? So this kind of reminds me, you know, I'm wondering while I was working on this, when that string got caught in there, you know, did it just pull the string out of his hoodie and lock up the motor and that was that or did it uh, do one of these whoop, you know where it wound up in there and pulled the thing up to his hood and they had to cut the string off I don't know nobody told me the story the hell? but it does remind me of another story from decades ago I was running a lawn crew and we had a new guy on the crew that day put a backpack floor on him and in fact there was a whole line of us side by side with backpack blowers moving leaves across a yard. I looked down the line and I noticed that uh, the area the new guy is responsible for is, is he's falling behind. <laughs> so I walked down there and the guy had his back to me when I was walking down that way. And when he turned around, he was standing there like this. With his shoulders just pulled back tight, his neck's back like this, and I mean he wasn't crying, but you could tell he wasn't comfortable. And what happened was, the tail of his flannel shirt got sucked up into the impeller of the backpack floor, and uh, got wrapped up in there tight, and just kept pulling and pulling and pulling until it seized the motor, and there he stood, locked up, couldn't do nothing about it. Um. Yeah, it was funny then too. We laughed at him, but we got him cut out of there. He lost a good flannel shirt, and we got the blower fixed. Whatever went on with our day. But uh, you know, back then the blowers they didn't have all the uh, the debris shields around the impeller and all that. It was much cruder. In fact, those were the days when the fuel tank was above the motor and the carbs were gravity feed so uh, I guess I'm dating myself there a little bit eh? 
Anyway, get back to our repair here. Uh, looks like uh, there was a lot of fuel, raw fuel in that air filter. Probably running a little rich. Maybe spitting back through the carb. You know, this thing, this thing's got a lot of hours on it. It's not really rated for commercial use. So we're gonna slap a brand new original equipment Husqvarna spark plug in there. Only because I have one sitting there on on hand. We had a whole display of all the various Husqvarna spark plugs that were available, and I'm trying to use it up. So the cutters seem pretty sharp. I don't know how much cutting they did. You know, or I, I mean, they're not like uh, what I want to say. A lot of people use these to uh, cut back flowers, flush cut them at the ground level. Uh, but this one doesn't look like they've been doing that because I can tell by the amount of dirt ingestion those machines get. You know, all the cooling air comes up from the bottom side here, uh, just like that hoodie string did. So I had denied them greaser privileges, so I felt obligated to pump a little grease into the gearbox and just make sure it it was good to go. So pretty much the rest of this video is just going to be me uh, dinking around with the carburetor a little bit. That's all I got for you on the Husqvarna 122 HD60. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I know it's a little early. We're seven minutes into a 13 minute video. You're on your own. Warning, warning, bullshit alert. Later. Cripes. I gotta go back and bleep that out.